Thank you for coming by. I love to hear from you, so please leave a message or comment below so I can respond to you and I will respond to you. So be patient and I appreciate your patience and thank you so much. Our topic for this video is about when someone demeans you, belittle you, or insults you. So before I start, I would like to greet everyone. Hello, I hope everything fine with you, with your friends and your family. And that um, I am so grateful that you are here viewing my video and listening. And I hope you will watch the video to the very end. And for those new that haven't subscribed, and I hope you will subscribe as well after uh, listening to the video to the very end. But I would like to add also that it's really best to listen the video to the very end because you will, you know, learn something, get something from it. Just anything because I'm sharing something for a lifetime, whatever it is that we are going through in our life. Uh, I know that you and I have a different journey, different responsibilities, different, different lifestyle, but we learn from each other. God communicates with us through our circumstances, especially uh, during difficult times. So it's best to just be grateful for everything and find the lesson that's in that certain situation and be grateful and, and kind and charitable. So let's make life light, easy and fun and joyful and never forget to integrate God's principles along with our unique talents, skills, abilities, and character. Because in this way, we can create our own personal world with a powerful partnership with love, courage, charity, and you know, some will even hate you or me for whatever reason they harbor in their heart. But it's not about us, it's them. Whatever they're thinking of, that's what they feel about us, seeing us, hearing us, or something, or just anything. So it's not our fault. We can do anything about it. So, none of those really, I truly agree, is our fault. So it's just the way it is and the way they are. So today I am going to share with you my thoughts about my feelings when someone demeans me or anyone or insult or, um, you know, belittle. Is that when someone embarrasses you among other people, or your friends and colleagues, when someone really hurts your feelings in front of the people that you care or people that you know, that you're close with, especially among your family and friends. Although th this seldom happens in our case, your case, but this event in life does not escape from anyone. For always, there will be people who intentionally hurt with their conscious mind. It happened to me and it happened to a lot. And maybe it happened to you too. So indeed, it is hurtful and we feel ashamed and embarrassed because we do not know how to react if we cry or we physically <laughs> attack them too. But because we are not ignorant about godliness and good character, we put a stop in our emotions to not react. Although it is un deniable that we oftentimes feel shocked and numbed and angry 
But nowadays, we have learned from books and many things, just like this video and many videos floating in the internet, you can learn a lot. So we better to be, um, to fill ourselves with a lot of education, self-educating, self-enrichment, self-development. Nowadays, we have learned from books and many things on how to act with the decorum. As we grow older, we realize that it is better for us not to react and just walk away from that situations that are hurtful. From um, reading posts in other social network and other blogs and all that and any reports from psychologists or something like that I have um, realized more and agree more that the person that is doing that demeaning or that character that is demeaning a person you or me or whoever that the shame is on the person who is angry ugly or we call them the perpetrator the instigator the one with the ugly behavior so this then we sigh in relief that we somehow let go of that toxic situation you turn our back walk away when someone is ugly to us those who demean us or you or me or anybody and shame us in front of others this person has a deep underlying psychological and emotional problem and it is about them whatever action whatever they is happening that they are the one perpetrating it's about them they are angry about the life their life the world their world and everything surrounding them that they cannot stand to see anyone in front of them to be happy because inside them they are so miserable and unhappy they have low self-esteem that's what i read they don't have self-confidence they don't like to hear you being so confident so they hate you so that's when the hurtful things happen they are just lost in their spiritual life and a whole lot of things going on inside them. Ooh, that's what I have read. Psychology book or psychology uh, blog write up. That's why they are envious and jealous of people who has the qualities they wish to have and envious to those who have achieved the things they aspire instead of working on themselves and improving themselves. So they are so busy to notice other people and how and what they are. All we have to do working on to better ourselves to try to learn everything that inspires us intrigued us and to build better relationships with everyone if possible and to build a life of peace and contentment in the midst of lack and in these uncertainties so we encounter a lot of those i mean almost all of our lives so we have to live a life of gratitude and then it's only then we are promised to live a life of plenty and fullness for as long as we don't forget the beauty of all creation even 
in the midst of sadness and bad memories in our lifetime. So let those be a reminder that we have lived through it all in victory and endearment. It's because these and those memories are proof nothing lasts forever and that time is precious and should never be wasted and that we just have to enjoy every moment in our breath with grace and gratefulness. And this is my quest for success in this second phase in life, that any life challenges, dilemma, or anything negative will only strengthen my resolve and I become a significant dot in the life of a few. As I share my way of dealing all what life throws at me, it builds more confidence and strength in me to embrace the difficult moments and see them not as a stumbling block but stepping stones for my new personal growth spiritually and emotionally and this I will share with you. Check on all my old videos so you can also enjoy them because I also had a lot of videos that I did uh, something like pre preparing to start your business, preparing to retire and all those things but I will also expand those videos in my new video uploads so that you can enjoy them too. So please watch my video always to the very end. No clicking. <laughs> Thank you. And I say that behind every fear, there's a miracle waiting. Live life in your best expression of yourself on how you truly love God through your neighbors. Be a living, loving example of, true, of a true Christian. Leave a legacy behind that could give you assurance that you lived a life not in vain. Thank you for listening. This is all for now. And I hope you click subscribe, hit like and share, and the bell icon for you to be notified for new videos to come and and to be for new videos to be uploaded don't forget you can achieve anything your heart desire if you put your heart and your mind into it i love you